Well, I was so fortunate this morning, my electric car started. Actually, that's pretty funny because electric cars don't have a start. Uh, and actually, they have no issues in the winter. Of course, you know, social media, you have that Chicago story, which... That Chicago story actually was cut from the original story that CBS made and altered to make uh, drama about electric vehicles. I had the time, I did some research. Originally, the CBS article said uh, they had tons of gasoline vehicles that wouldn't start with dead batteries. And the second part of the story was there was a problem at one charging station in Chicago and of course, the other uh, media outlets picked up on it and they cut out the part about the gasoline cars and they just stuck with the EV story. Um, so I want to elaborate on the EV story just a little bit. Um, there is, you know, in like negative temperatures, unless if you're talking double digits, um, it's a little different, I'll explain later. It's double digit negative temperatures. But say you're in the negatives and you have an electric vehicle uh, you have a huge battery okay huge battery in a gasoline car you got a little small battery a little 12 volt small battery so if you have a weak battery in real cold weather it's possible that your gasoline car won't start because the battery does lose a little bit of the power in the cold and it sometimes isn't uh, enough to fire up the motor, as all of you probably have experienced before. With an EV, you have a huge battery, and you don't have a starter. So there's no firing up a motor to start a motor. I mean, that doesn't happen. So the only way you would ever run into an issue with an EV in even double negative uh, numbers is if you left the car on empty the night before it was like if you had hardly any battery uh percentage left and you left it that way overnight then you might have an issue but you know just plain common sense would tell you don't leave it dead overnight in that uh, cold of weather no, no different than a gasoline car Say you sat in your car and left the radio running forever or your lights on and it was supposed to be negative temps, so you go turn your lights off um, and you know your battery's probably low, so don't let it sit overnight. Go ahead and put a charger on it right then. So it's the same thing with an electric vehicle. Um, you know, if it's at night, you know it's going to be cold, just plug it in. I think where people run into problems is, you know, uh, like in the big city of Chicago, they ran out and they bought an electric car and they live in an apartment. Well, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, honestly, right now we don't have the infrastructure. I wouldn't buy an electric car if I had an apartment because I think it would be a pain in the butt to have to go to a charging station every two, three days. I, I wouldn't want to do that. Just like now, I don't, I don't even want to go to a gas station. But, uh, so anyway, <clears throat> that's the only problem you're gonna run into. Now, I was charging in Chicago just a couple weeks ago. And uh, I was traveling from Ohio and I went up to Chicago in my electric car, of course. And uh, when I got up to Chicago, there's like tons of chargers in Chicago. But what I found was uh, I went to a charger that was closest to me and there was a line of people waiting. It's like, this is the first time I've experienced that. And I travel a lot of places. But in Chicago, I saw a line of people. And it was probably three or four people waiting on the charger. Well, I've never done that before. And I thought, well, I'm not going to sit here and wait, you know. So I just got on my app, you know, my map. Hit the local chargers. And I found another charger five miles away. All right, it was a fast charger too. And uh, so I drove five miles and nobody was there. It's like they were all this other one. Um, and I, I, what I think it is, 
I mean, people couldn't be that naive. So what it probably is, is people have plans. Like when you buy a new electric car, there's a, you get a plan. Like I got two years free charging at Electrify America. So that's, I went to Electrify America in Chicago and that's where the line was. But I wasn't even in a hurry, but I'm not gonna sit and wait to get free charging. And I think that's what people were doing. Uh, because otherwise you would just be like me and I, I drove four miles away and nobody was there because it wasn't an Electrify America, it was another charging system. So, you know, these people are running into problems because they're doing things wrong. You know, they're waiting in line because they get free charging. Well, it, you know, if you want to do that, then you risk running into problems. And another thing is they have to charge because they live in an apartment or something. So, you know, if you do that, then do it, then charge up the night before. Like when you get home from work, charge up then at the charging station. And that way in the morning, when it's cold and your car's been sitting all night, you'll have a full battery. It's, it's no different than a gasoline vehicle in that manner. So, you know, this whole idea about electric cars not working in cold weather, it, it's false. I mean, the whole thing is false. Yes, you do have a range loss. Uh, like, say down to negative four, I see it up to a 25% loss in range, which I still always get 200 miles of range, uh, which is which is plenty. Even if I and I travel, you know, out of state with that range, it's not a big deal. Because um, you know, 200 miles of range is still three and a half hours or whatever driving, and I'm ready to stop and get a coffee or something anyway. Um, but I lost my train of thought. But no, uh, that, that whole thing's just you know, EVs do fine. Now, if you're in the double negative temps, which we might see in Ohio once every three or four years. So I'm not even concerned about that anyway in my EV. But from the reports I've seen, if you are in the double negative temps, then you could see up to a 40% loss of battery. Again, if, if you charge from home, who cares? You got plugged in overnight, you still got 100, 150 miles, you know, even in double, double negative temps. But the car is always gonna fire up, even if it's 50 below. The electric car is still going to fire up every time where your gasoline car might not because it's a real small battery that's trying to crank over that motor. So, you know, you know how social media is. You, you, the media creates clickbait articles that, you know, get views. And I know why they do it because views make money because they sell advertising. But uh, it's given us false thing. Um, throughout the United States, maybe the world, about electric cars. They're not that bad, you know. It's just people that, is, that don't know how to work properly and that went out and bought them and maybe didn't understand what they were getting into uh, and they couldn't charge from home, you know. Um, you never hear a person that has a home charger and says, oh, my, I couldn't get my car charged. That never happens, you know, it, because it wouldn't happen. Your vehicle's always going to be ready to go, especially if you charge your home. So, uh, anyway, it's just a lot of mis misinformation out there on the internet. And, you know, there's nothing really you can do except try to educate people on the matter. But uh, I love the EV. I love, you know. Uh, I spent three months researching before I bought it. Three months because uh, I'm not wealthy, you know. Uh, it was a big purchase, and I want to make sure I was doing the right thing and that, that it would work for me. So I spent three months work, three months researching it, and it's been awesome. My research paid off, and I have not one regret. I've got getting close to 10,000 miles on it, and I've not had not one issue at all, not one. So uh, my first service is due in two years, or 25,000 miles, and. They're, uh, I think they're gonna check the cabin filter, the washer fluid, and I think that's it. That's the only thing on maintenance schedule. So yeah, that's what I like about electric car. Anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, maybe you picked up something. <laughs>